are alone on my heart's desire, and I long to worship you. I want you more than gold or silver. Only you can satisfy. You alone are the real joy giver and the apple of my eye. May the words of my mouth and the thoughts each and every one of us shall form here this morning are be always acceptable unto thee, O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Please sit down. Brothers and sisters in Christ, today, yes, is the fourteenth Sunday of the Trinity, but also today is an important feast in the calendar of the Anglican Communion. Today is the feast of St. Matthew, the Apostle and Evangelist. <coughs> Brothers and sisters in Christ, there was never a more unlikely candidate for the office of an apostle than Matthew. Matthew was what the, the authorized version called a publican. The publicans were tax gatherers and were so called because they dealt with public money and with public funds. The problem for the Roman, Roman government was how to devise a system whereby the taxes could be collected as efficiently and as cheaply as possible. They did so by auctioning the right to collect taxes in a certain area, or in certain areas. The man who bought that right was responsible to the Roman government for an agreed sum. Anything he could raise over and above that he was allowed to keep as a commission. Obviously, this system lent itself to grave abuses. People did not really know how much they ought to pay in the days before newspapers and radio and television, nor had they any right of appeal against the tax collectors. The consequence was that many tax collectors became wealthy through illegal extortion. This system had led to many abuses that in Palestine it had been brought to an end before the time of Jesus. But taxes still have to be paid and uh, there were still abuses. There were three great stated taxes there was a ground tax by which a man had to pay one tenth of his grain and one fifth of his fruit and vine to the government, either in cash or in kind. There was income tax, which was one percent of a man's income. There was a poll task which was to be paid by every male from the age of 40 years to 65 years. And by every female from the age 
of 10 years to 65 years. These were statutory taxes and could well be used and could not well be used by tax collectors for private profits. But in addition to these taxes, there were all sorts of other taxes. There was a duty of anything from 2.5% to 12.5% on all goods imported and exported. The tax had to be paid to travel on the main roads, to cross on bridges, to enter market places and towns or harbors. There was a tax on pack animals and a tax on the wheels and axles of cars. There were purchase taxes on goods bought and sold. Now, although the old method of auctioning the taxes had been stopped, all kinds of people were needed to collect these taxes. The people who collected them were drawn from the provincials themselves, the towns or the cities or villages themselves. Often, they were volunteers. Usually, in any